Welcome back to another episode of the South Florida Access. I'm Jay Valley. And I'm Varsha Dorval. Excited to have you on set today, Varsha. And I'm excited to be here. On today's episode, we step into the annual Tim Tebow Foundation Night to Shine event. And we'll also be stepping into a downtown Miami museum that features large, oversized containers. You'll be surprised at what we find inside. And to top it off, we get an exclusive interview with Jacob Sanchez, a Miami CRNA with an inspiring story. And why celebrities from all around the world and even South Florida locals are booking him for their cosmetic procedures. But before that, let's take a look at this week's Hot Minute. Another Hot Minute is here. Welcome back. I am Andrea Gliocci. And I am Bianca Markov. Thanks for tuning in. On Wednesday, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner were all over social media. This famous couple is apparently expecting a baby. However, the Jonas Brothers singer and Game of Thrones actress have decided to keep their pregnancy quiet for the time being. What a wonderful surprise! In other news, and also a surprise, was that Senator Bernie Sanders won the New Hampshire Democratic primary on Tuesday with a total of 25.7% of the votes. He seems to be getting a lot of attention too. Yes, could he win the nomination though? We'll see what Nevada has to say next week. SFMN reporter Luisa Paixoto covered a story on how important the Latino vote is, especially in the upcoming Nevada caucuses where they will have a chance to be represented. Right! Talking about politics in Hollywood, on Tuesday, Empire actor Jesse Smollett was all over social media too. Apparently, he was indicted on charges of lying to the police in Chicago. It has been one year since he was accused of staging a hate crime on himself. Also trending in social media, a new trend called the Broom Challenge has taken every platform by storm thanks to a fake viral tweet that was posted on Monday. The tweet claimed that NASA said that Monday is the only day that a broomstick could stand on its own because of the Earth's gravitational pull. Have you tried it? No, I have not. No, me neither. But I have seen it all over social media. Hundreds of internet users have been trying the challenge for themselves by trying to get their broomstick to stand up. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. I actually spent 10 minutes trying to balance out my broom yesterday and it worked. I will believe it when I see it. <laughs> this year marked the sixth annual Tim Tebow Night to Shine event with over 720 hosting churches around the globe. Yes, definitely the prom of a lifetime. I had the honor of attending this incredible event right here in South Florida. We are here live at the annual Tim Tebow Night to Shine event an event focused on the celebration of individuals with special needs. We are here at Vu Church, one of the 700 hosting churches for this amazing soiree. A Night to Shine allows people ages 14 and up a chance at an incredible prom night, fully equipped with lights, camera action, hair and makeup, red carpet, paparazzi, the works. We're incredibly excited to be here and even got a chance to catch up with some volunteers and even some prom goers. It's definitely something that I've always wanted to do you know, get back to the community in any way. And when I heard it was Night to Shine for, you know, people with special needs, I was like, this is something I definitely want to contribute to in my life, so. Along with our amazing servant leaders, um, we were able to put together this event, this special night for people 14 years and up that have special needs in our community. I think it's such a special night. I just think back of when I was in high school and I went to prom, it was a night for me to shine. Just like tonight, the, the event is called Night to Shine and it's for our honored guests for them to shine and for them to feel like kings and queens that they are. I think it's an awesome event. Um, I think it's really impactful for the city. Um, we believe that as we serve our city, God is going to change the city. So we just love being you know, a light for people to come and encounter and just have a great time. It's something that they don't normally get to do. So I think it's really awesome to be a part of it. A museum that features large containers that may even raise an eyebrow. Yep, but it's what's inside that counts. Shipping containers have taken over Miami. Here at the Euphoric Emporium in downtown Miami, oversized and modified shipping containers will take you through 20 different art installations. Yes, you heard that right. Let's check it out. Each room or shipping compartment features an optical illusion that lets your imagination run wild. Plant yourself in a sunflower field, chill inside of a snow globe, and float in an upside down living room. Each installation is an immersive experience. The museum is not just for great photo ops, but also for hanging out with friends and family. Once you navigate your way through the museum, you'll come across upbeat music and an outdoor bar that serves cocktails. 
So we originally came to Miami. We purchased 10 40-foot tall shipping containers. Uh, we modified them to create extra large rooms so that people wouldn't have a tight claustrophobic feel. Uh, a couple friends of mine and I, we got together, uh, and, and over the course of the last, I'd say, year or so, came up with some really excellent ideas to create really fun experiences for anyone that wanted to come see. Uh, we do offer... Um, Admission to people of all ages, I think, is a really fun family event. Uh, or if it's just an event, you want to get together with all your friends and have a really fun night out. Uh, we operate during the day on the weekends and during the evenings into the night uh, during the week. Each room gave you like a different like spectrum of like how you like take it in. Like the sunflower room, you're in like a field of sunflowers. The room with that's like all upside down makes you want to like do something crazy, and then. I think my real favorite room was the last one with like the lights that were just all around. It was like mm, in infinite almost, so I like that one. Don't miss this once in a lifetime opportunity. The Euphoric Emporium will be here until late March. You can buy tickets at euphoricemporium.com. I'm Bianca Markov with the South Florida Access. And now our exclusive interview with Jacob Sanchez. Since 2016, non-surgical rejuvenation has increased by over 9,000%. According to Forbes.com and Men's Health, Miami is number four in cosmetic surgery procedures. Today, Miami is home to one of the top injectors in America, Jacob Sanchez. I am originally from New York. My first six years of life was in New York. Uh, and, but I, I always say that I was raised from, I'm, I always say I'm from Miami. I went to high school in Miami-Dade. I was not the best student at all. I barely graduated. I was scraping just to get by. And it's, the only thing that really got me by was playing sports. I was labeled by teachers because of a previous experience in my life. My father had passed away when I was six years old. He was murdered coming into the apartment. He was involved in some stuff that was, that was stuff that was happening in the 90s, rampantly in New York. And that's why we fled to Dominican Republic, where we lived on a farm. I went from New York City to living on a farm where I had to pump water out of a well and lit, like poop in an outhouse. Complete lifestyle change. Complete lifestyle change, very humbling. And then we settled roots in Miami. And I went through things that a child shouldn't even see, like all this, this type of violence being tied up and, 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 and witnessing my, my father coming in, you know, pistol whipped the first couple months prior to that event, that I had a lot of social, I don't know, I wouldn't say social anxiety, but I had issues being around people. Bearing the loss of his father, Jacob's transition into the Miami-Dade public school system was faced with unwanted labels. I remember getting into the school system, they labeled me as having a learning disability. I remember being told, you're not going to finish your first semester at Miami-Dade College by my football coach. So I went to the University of Miami after going to Miami-Dade, did my undergrad there, then I did my master's in anesthesia. I became a registered nurse anesthetist. When I, I, I did, I graduated cum laude in my undergrad, got into mas my master's, and I remember doing clinicals, and I was doing really cool stuff. Anesthesia is the meat and potatoes. Something goes wrong, anesthesia, everyone looks at you at the front of the bed, and you're just like, hey, you know, you're in charge. You're talking to the surgeon what to do. People, you're directing. And I just went on to really excel at Mass Eye and Ear, where I was awarded teaching in excellence for Harvard's anesthesia department. So I, I really solidified my intubating skills, came down to, my, to Florida. I wanted to work as an independent practitioner at all these plastic surgery centers throughout Miami Dade and Broward. And I was working with over 40 different surgeons. That's where I got introduced to injectables. I felt really comfortable injecting immediately. By the end of the beginner's course, I was injecting the instructor. He was like, can you please hook me up? And I was like, wow. I think I went home and I was like, I think I, I think I may have stumbled on something. With that in mind, Jacob went on to one of the biggest and most accessible advertising platforms, social media. Today, Jacob has over 68.5 thousand followers and counting. He says this was all possible by simply being himself, sharing results, and teaching about non-surgical rejuvenation methods. I wanted to use a name that didn't sound invasive. So at first it was Refresh by Jacob. 
And then I quickly realized, okay, if I want to make this about a larger brand, I have, I have to take my name out. And that's when it became one of my friends was like, whoa, what about this Get Refresh? And I was like, damn, Manny, you've never thought of a good idea. <laughs> you just stumbled onto something big. What I want to show America and the world is that Get Refresh is not a name. It's a lifestyle brand. It's about living a positive, influential, impactful life, but just looking good while doing it. And that's why people come to us. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and follow our social media accounts for all things happening here in South Florida.